Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm the Recovery Science Product Manager from DJO Global. Today, we're going to talk about the Chattanooga High Power Laser. Three questions I want to cover today. Why is High Power Laser different to Low Level Laser? Why is High Power Laser different to Shockwave Therapy? And finally, what are the really unique indications for High Power Laser? So firstly, laser technology uses light energy, photonic energy, to stimulate change within the body, within the tissue. The laser energy is absorbed by the tissue, by different parts of the, of the tissue. Um, we're concerned with the mitochondria in the cell, um, the water in the tissue, and the oxyhemoglobin in the blood. So the first thing you'll notice in the difference between the high and the low power laser is the wavelength. With our low level laser, we have one wavelength, and that's ideal for biostimulation. With our high power laser, we have three wavelengths, and that allows you to achieve biostimulation vascularization and oxygenation. Low power laser is often referred to as cold laser as you don't feel any heat coming out of the probe. However, with high power laser, you'll feel heat coming out of the probe as there's a thermal effect from the multiple wavelengths. With high power laser, it's also a dynamic treatment and you can treat over a larger surface area, whereas with low level laser, it's more of a static treatment. To answer our second question of why laser is different to shockwave, we need to look at the technology behind the device. With shockwave therapy, you have mechanical energy that's converted to chemical energy, whether that's delivered by a focus shockwave or a radial pressure wave shockwave. However, with laser energy, we're using light energy. Okay, So what happens is the light energy carries photons, and this is photonic energy, which is then delivered to the cells and converted into chemical energy. In terms of application technique, shockwave is ideal for treating chronic tendinopathy whereas laser is better for your more acute soft tissue injury, such as an ankle sprain or acute neck pain. However, both shockwave and laser can be used for treating myofascial pain. In summary, shockwave is pro-inflammatory, whereas laser is anti-inflammatory.